Hi's friends! It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and another collage. I love these collages. I hope you aren't tired of them because I'm going to keep doing them. This one is another fawn from a different point of view and slightly different background, but they're fun. I've been working in my garden and planting lots of little plants and enjoying the the spring, the season. Nature is a real joy to me. Things that grow are a joy to me. So, so these little creatures <laughs> are also a joy to me. That's a little bit of a diversion from my children's books that I normally do, which I intend to get back to soon. <laughs> but in the meantime, as you can see, I'm using pieces of magazines and torn up um, catalogs and circulars and things like that. I have a photo reference that I'm using that I got from Pixabay, which is a pretty good um, free, royalty-free photo website. Makes for some really good references. I always feel like if you're doing something realistic, it should be um, with a, a good quality photo reference. And usually I take the photos myself with these little deer. I didn't have photos of them, so. That's what these uh, good quality photo sites are for, for when people want to use a photo that they couldn't possibly have taken themselves. Another thing I like to do with these collages is add words and little pictures and things that you wouldn't normally put into a painting, say, with oils or acrylic or watercolor, but in a collage, you can get away with it. It blends in. So you see in this background here, I've got torn photos of buildings. On the right hand side, I've got torn um, fabric, but it had just enough green and a little red that it blended in with the brownish, greenish background that I was going for. So whatever works. And it's interesting how when we stand back, it all blends together. The eye, the mind is a wonderful thing. It just intuitively thinks, Oh, well, I know what that is. But when you get close and you see all the details, all the little things that shouldn't be there, it's, um, it's almost magical. So now it's time to start putting in color in the, um, in the, the deer himself. And then after I put in this light, tan color, I decided that the shadows should be a little more cool, a little more on the blue side. So I went back and added some blues and purples. <laughs> My dog thinks she hears something outside. Oh, 
about fears. How scary. So you see this shadow, very dark, the underside of the deer. So I felt like it should have a very dark blue. This one I decided to do mostly torn pieces for my little fawn. Sometimes I'll do uh, cut pieces for my main subject, but I don't know. It just felt like it was it was rough. It was um, the torn pieces were working for this little guy. So, so there you go. Sometimes I have to search around for just the right pieces. I actually have little folders, um, almost like envelopes of colors that I have separated and pulled out of magazines and whatever, and, and just saved them. I have a, a file folder full of reds and, and a file folder full of browns and a file folder full of tans and a file folder full of whites and creamy whites and even if they have words on them perfectly okay a file folder full of oranges and yellows and and etc and those help me a, a lot to have a different files filled with the color that I'm looking for because there are so many greens and there are so many blues. I actually have three file folders filled with blues. Light blue, medium blue, very dark blue. And two file folders full of pinks, if you can believe that. So. I'm giving you a little close-up of this little this little guy's face so that you can see some of the pieces are so small I have to use tweezers to put them on and I had to cut that nose I just couldn't tear it small enough and I cut the eye as you can probably see Also, I'm using rubber cement to, uh, to glue my paper down because rubber cement will not make the paper buckle. And now it's time to put the spots onto the back of my little fawn. So I have cut all these teeny pieces of paper for the, for the spots. It's just too small to tear them. <laughs> So sometimes you just have to get out a pair of scissors. Well, I hope you enjoyed this process. Yay, it's finally done. And you can see at the bottom I've added a few words into the woods. <laughs> it looked like it was the perfect thing to put there in my picture. I also have a cactus, which, you know, may or may not actually fit, but 
it was fun to throw it in. I have some sunflowers kind of in the background, a little dog, a couch, and a painting of a little girl holding a teddy bear. Whatever fits. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing it. And do check out some of my links below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps my channel. And check out the things that the other videos that I do and the things that I do. I have many things. I have websites and um, social media. And I hope you come again. See you next time. Bye, everyone.